Hi, this is Ryan with Instructor Gadget. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the process of backing up your files in Windows 10. For additional information, you can visit us at instructorgadget.com or email us at info at instructorgadget.com to sign up for our weekly tips and tricks email. In Windows 10, you have a couple of options when it comes to backing up your files. We are going to take a look at the most traditional form of backing up your computer in this tutorial, but later we will cover the file history feature of Windows 10, which is more of a real-time backup, allowing for more flexibility when it comes to restoring previous versions of individual files and folders. The first step in the backup process is to connect a storage device. Typically, an external hard drive is the best option as it provides plenty of storage and is fairly inexpensive. You can also opt for a USB flash drive, although there's a good chance you won't be able to fit the entire backup file on it if you're like me and you have lots of photos and videos. CDs and DVDs are kind of a thing of the past when it comes to backing up your computer, but they will work. Like most activities, there are a variety of paths you can take to get to your final destination. I find that the easiest way to open most things I'm looking for is to simply search for them. In Windows 10, the search is located on the taskbar. Left click once within the search field and type Backup and Restore. Click Backup and Restore Windows 7. Alternatively, you can right click in the far lower left hand corner of the screen, then click Control Panel. When the Control Panel opens, you can select System and Security, and finally click Backup and Restore Windows 7. You see, searching is a lot easier. From the Backup and Restore window, choose Set Up Backup by left clicking one time. You will then be presented with a list of all of the storage devices you have on or connected to your computer. Click once on the device you would like to use and select Next. You now have the option of allowing Windows to determine what files should be backed up or you can choose for yourself. Of course the quickest and easiest option is to allow Windows to choose, but if you only want to back up certain folders or files on your computer, you can choose a second option. For demonstration purposes, I'm opting for option two. Click once on Let Me Choose and then click Next. Here you'll see all of the user accounts you have on your computer and you can expand the folders and select or deselect whatever folder you would like by clicking on the corresponding checkbox. When finished, click Next. On the next window, you can choose a schedule so that the backup process runs automatically and you don't have to worry about forgetting to initiate it in the future. This only works, however, if your backup drive, your external hard drive or USB flash drive, is connected to the computer at the time when the backup is set to run. Click Change Schedule. Here you can choose to not run the backup on a schedule by clicking on the check mark to clear it, or you can customize the schedule to fit your needs. If you create and edit lots of files on a daily basis, you might want to schedule the backup to occur daily. If not, weekly or monthly might work fine for you. When you're finished, click OK. You're left with one final step. Click Save Settings and Run Backup. The backup process may take a significant amount of time depending on the amount and the size of the files that you're backing up. Check out our tutorial on restoring files to learn how to retrieve these files that you've just backed up. Thank you once again for joining us for another Instructor Gadget lesson.